Hey, what's up YouTube? Rob Brandon here, uh, coming to you from uh, Ludgate Lane or Road, right next to St. Paul's in London. Uh, I've come over here to work with, uh, I had one client who was an emergency client who was uh, in a really, <coughs> really, really bad way. <coughs> so I, I flew over and uh, I've also got some other clients here that I'll be working with one-on-one, -on -one, um, which is great. And uh, I today I will be drinking organic pret a manger coffee, coffee which I need. Uh, had I slept twelve hours last night, and what I find is when I come here, um, uh, not that I, I work massive amount compared to Barcelona, but it's just like a, a place where I can come and um, recover, really, kind of a build up of uh, fatigue, I think. So I slept nice twelve hours. Um, another great thing is when I come here, I work with a client. Who can uh, who gets me uh, private suites and I have a beautiful apartment um, this is just the have a little tour um, you know, that's the living room area so I don't know if you know about London but it's uh, super super expensive so I always get staying somewhere really nice and I, I, I'm really grateful for that um, so a little bit of luxury um, getting away from um, the family, which I try and keep really short because I, I love being with them, but it's also a place for me to kind of recover, hide in a cave. Um, I wanted to talk to you about a book I'm reading. I have spoken to you about it before. It's called uh, Principles by Ray Dalio. I, I posted some notes on um, Instagram, which I took on the at the airport yesterday. I, um, I thought they were, I think it maybe I've come across it many times before but it really stuck with me his words and the way he said it I find maybe you find that as well that sometimes you read something you read it again a few years later and it's like wow how did I miss that he, he talks about a mental picture of what you want to achieve so we all have things we want to achieve however small they are and he talked about having this mental picture of what it will look like um, he said the you know the great the he calls them um, Oh, what did he call them? Um, shapers. I think he calls them shapers, like um, Elon Musk. Um, what well, people call him a shaper. Anthony Robbins, um, uh, Steve Jobs, etc. Those guys, they are shapers, and he found that they are not always the nicest people to be around. Uh, they have. They don't really care for people's feelings. Uh, and they're just driven and Elon Musk is showing that at the moment he you know he just worked constantly um, and if if people don't come up to his standard or Steve Jobs was the same then he has no time for them so they score very low on empathy which is really interesting um, what it brought brought up for me actually was a question is you know everyone wants to be like Steve Jobs or Elon Musk but they're kind of just made that way a bit controversial but you know your your deep set personality like I am empathetic that I can't get away from that and so Elon Musk isn't and uh, he's he his mental picturing is incredible and mine isn't so yeah I can try and move myself more in the direction of being a shaper but I don't think I'll ever be a shaper although uh, I came away thinking oh, I'd love to create a foundation non-profit and so I start shaping in my little way my future and this is where it comes back to this mental picture so Ray Dalio was saying that the shapers have a mental picture that's stronger um, the, the pain of doing it um, isn't as strong as the pain of not doing it so their mental picture they're so driven to do if they don't do it that's more painful than the actual you know challenges and struggles they're gonna have to do to, to get it now it's, it's simple and I love that you need a mental picture. So, um, if you want to get in great shape, what's your mental picture of that? What, what do you want to look like in your head? So, I, um, what if I create a foundation? I need a mental picture. When I started off in football, I had a mental picture. I wanted to be this top conditioning guy, and I had that picture in my head constantly, you know. And then, I, uh, when I had a mental picture of working in Barcelona for um, for Barcelona. I had a mental picture of that, and it it's really powerful. Um, so if 
so what I'm doing at the moment is with this uh, idea of having a foundation where uh, it, it sort of disrupts um, the healing, disrupts healing and uh, enables everyone to be able to do it. So it's kind of decentralized. It takes taking the power away from the, you know, the, these t gurus or doctors or whatever, that we have this ability within us. So what does that look like? Well, I'm working on it at the moment. And so that's an everyday, like, what's that mental picture? What, how's it going to do? Now, one thing that comes up is I have thoughts about it that are negative, like, oh, I couldn't do that, or, or I wouldn't have any freedom, or, you know. So those are the ones that I want to work on. So if I get this foundation and people, uh, you know, it, it it doesn't work, let's just say a basic one. Well, how would I feel? Well, I'd feel ashamed. So I need to work on that and work on that by finding the underlying weakness, yeah, and then clearing that. Um, I'm getting much more clear on my mental picture of what this, uh, how, this uh, method of this strong or weak energy, uh, kind of an underpinning of consciousness, how it relates to psychology and how psychology is missing that piece of the puzzle. And uh, so my mental picture is really starting to shape quite quickly. Um, but all the, the negative thinking and the, um, the kind of ego uh, needs to be worked on. And, and that brings me back to something very interesting when I work with some athletes. Um, I, I was working with a pole vaulter and I asked her about her mental picture for the tournament she was going to be taking into this championship and she was saying that when she so visually in her head when she sees herself vaulting she can't clear the bar so that was the baseline so we use the mental picture as a baseline I think that I have, that's the first time I've come across anyone doing it this way so I kind of just went with it at the, at the time then I've so let's say she hit the bar each time then i worked on what was the number one or the primary thing behind that cleared it and then i said okay how's your mental picture now of doing the vault so we got it to the point where she she was so far over the bar in her mental image it was incredible and she uh, and she had an amazing season from that same goes for a, a goal scorer what's the mental picture is the ball going in every time um and I suppose bringing up a child, you know, what, what's my mental picture? How do I want to see Lima? Um, and does that bring up any fears and thoughts? And those need to be worked on. So um, just wanted to say mental pictures are fascinating, um, very, very powerful. And there you go. So uh, just a quick video from London. Um, I feel like I'm kind of connecting with you guys. Uh, smash up that like button if you enjoyed listening to this video and subscribe and if you have any questions you know i always reply back underneath and i'd love to hear from you and i'm gonna go and drink my coffee and wake up a little bit and then go and meet my clients have a great day wherever you are and talk to you soon